Good morning, my name is Jason Vandertorn. Welcome to Boshma Farms in Tolleson, Arizona. This dairy actually was here right around the time of World War II. And uh, my wife's family started here in 1974. We have three children. Uh, we have two boys and a girl. Uh, my eldest son, Jacob, is gonna be 10 in April. My daughter is eight and my youngest son, Gerben, is uh, seven. We live in the house where my wife grew up. So it's quite a, quite a neat tradition to kind of carry on there and uh, we try to be good stewards of the things that we've been entrusted with. I uh, wouldn't trade this for anything. My kids have the opportunity every day to run around on 60 acres of farm ground. Uh, they have the opportunity to go out and feed calves. My son Jacob every night comes out with a pail, goes to the barn, grabs milk out of the tank, brings it home. It's, it's quite a blessing. Our kids don't necessarily play the soccer and, and the basketball and things like that. Uh, but they have the opportunity to work and, and do different things on the farm and they, they keep quite busy. You know, you can go out at uh, different times of the day and there's always something going on. Sometimes it's different and uh, some of the excitement about that is, is that you get the opportunity to evaluate the different things that are going on and you can kind of walk around and, and, and look for things to improve. On the dairy farm, nothing's ever quite good enough. You're always looking for places to make things more efficient, to make things more comfortable for the cow, to make things more comfortable for the employees that are working with the cows. And as a dairy owner and a manager, you're always constantly trying to make all those little systems better. And uh, you know, Ed and Mika Boschman, when they started here in 1974, uh, boy, what, what a bunch of hard workers. You know, I hear stories of them waking up in the mornings and feeding these cows with, with a wheelbarrow and you know, working in endless hours. You know, back in those days, there was no cooling for these cows. And uh, you know, things in the summer would get stressful. Um, but enough can't be said for those who came to this state years ago and started dairying here. They, they blazed a pathway for guys like me to have the opportunity to do this in this modern world. Uh, so in 1974, they were milking 333 cows. Today, we're presently milking 2,500 cows. And if it wasn't for the hard work of my mom and dad-in-law, I wouldn't be standing here today. You know, I feel extremely blessed to be a part of this and uh, we hope to carry this on for generations and I hope to see my kids here someday milking cows and making what we have today better in that respect.